Go Racing. Go online. GoRacing.ie. Horse Racing Ireland's official website. Hello and welcome to this week's Horse Racing Ireland Racing Preview, where we'll be covering the racing from Leopardstown and Limerick. It's a Christmas special with racing from the 26th of December to the 29th of December. Well, yes, there are an awful lot of good racing in prospect. Lots of good horses engaged and obviously top class riders. We also have some overseas runners as well. So hopefully it'll be a very good meeting at Leopardstown and Limerick. Now we're going to take a look at Leopardstown and Limerick on Wednesday the 26th of December. Um, well, first of all, we'll go to Leopardstown. It, the first race off at Leopardstown is at 12.20. Now, Martin, obviously we're only looking at the entry stage here. The horses haven't actually been declared yet. But firstly, we'll go to the 120, the Q8 Oils Juvenile Hurdle. What have you selected in this race? Well, the one I'm looking at here, Sarah, is a horse that Desi uses called Errol Connor. He was a decent horse in the flat during the, during the summer and he's won his only two races over hurdles in a quite impressive style. Won well at Ferry House last time. Uh, the big danger here is going to be one of the, uh, two Willie Mullins runners, either Blood Coat Hill or Dia Cali. Both were actually trained in France before they came to Willie and both of them have won their first starts in very good style. There's another one there maybe called Stockton's Wing that would have an each way chance. But for me I think our Connor has done nothing wrong so far. I think he's good enough to complete the hat-trick. Okay, so we'll move on then. We'll go to the feature race. This is the 2.55 presently. Um, this is the Racing Post Novice Steeplechase. Um, what caught your eye in this race then, Martin? Well, there's going to be a big clash here, Sarah, hopefully, with between our Vika Legionnaire from William Mullins and the Jessica Harrington train Oscar as well. Mm-hmm. Now, our Vika Legionnaire has been very impressive in winning his both steeplechases to date. He was particularly impressive when winning the Royal Bond Chase, or sorry, the Drinmore Novice Chase at a ferry house earlier this month. He made all on that occasion, drops back to two miles here and is the likely favourite. However, Oscar as well was a very high class hurdler. Uh, he actually, actually finished sixth in the champion hurdle last March and he's done well over fence as well. Although he did yeah. fall in one of those uh, three uh, chase runs he'd had today, he's won two of them very well. I think if his jumping holds up, he might be good enough to beat our Viking Legionnaire, in which there'll be a tremendous clash between the two of them. Okay, so we'll move on then and we'll have a look at Limerick, um, also on the Wednesday. First race off at Limerick is at 12.35. Firstly, we'll take a look at the 140. This is the O'Kelly Brothers Contractors Hurdle. Um, is there anything that caught your eye in this race? Well, a very interesting contest, Sarah. Again, plenty of entries here, and we're not quite sure which one will go where. But, yeah. but of that, I think David Watchman has a horse called Page Boy, who's been doing quite well over hurdles. David Watchman doesn't normally train uh, national horses, so the fact he's kept him in training is significant. He could actually win this, although Chrissy Roach's Belly Nacree could be dangerous as well. Uh, Gordon Elliott has Discoteca, t- Discoteca also entered. He's won four races already this year, so if he does turn up here, he will obviously have a chance as well. But for me, Page Boy certainly shouldn't go t- it should go very close, I think. Okay, so then we're going to move on to the 210. This is currently the 210. Um, the Greenmount Park Novice Chase, this is a grade two. This should be quite a competitive race. Well, yes, and obviously last year's winner here was Sword de Champ, so he's obviously turned out to be uh, a top class horse in the meantime. Yeah. Uh, again, plenty of entries here, and again, plenty of them coinciding with uh, Leprechaun as well. For me, if Willie Mullins runs A up Charlie, who won very well in his debut at Gordon Park a couple of weeks ago over fences. He jumped particularly well on that occasion. He was toward the Cheltenham bumper two years ago, and I think he has a touch of class about him. If he turns up, I think he nearly win. If Jessica Harrington turns up at January, he certainly liked the two-mile three trip. He's been a little bit disappointed since winning his first chase at Nace over two miles. I think this longer trip will suit him. But for me, I think A of Charlie, if he turns up, is the one to beat. Okay, so some really competitive racing then to look forward to on Wednesday the 26th of December. Okay, so then moving on to Leopardstown and Limerick on Thursday the 27th of December. Firstly, we'll go to Leopardstown. The first race off here is at 12.20. Now, once again, these are the entries we're taking a look at and not the declarations. So the first race we'll have a look at then is the Paddy Power Dial-A-Bet Steeplechase. Um, this is a grade one, Martin. Should be another competitive race at Leopardstown. Well, yes, and indeed, uh, anyone who's gone to Leopardstown over the last few years would have backed Big Zed in this race. He's won three three times in the last four years here. Although he is 11 years of age now, he certainly has retains plenty of his ability and he should go close again. However, if Sight in Europe turns up, he's ever actually ran at the uh, Christmas festival. Mm-hmm. But this year, apparently, Henry de Bompe has said that this is probably his preferred target. Okay. If, he, if he does turn up, he looks a banker bet, has to be, has to be yeah. said. He will be a sharp price. He was unlucky to lose the champion chase at uh, Chetland last March. He's won his two races quite well already this season in top class form. And for those big punters, they certainly won't uh, leave Sight in Europe behind here. Okay. So then we'll move on to the. Paddy Power Future Champions Novice Hurdle Grade 1. Some interesting contenders in this race, Ballina Slow and Bright New Dawn. Yeah, an absolute cracker race, this one there, Sarah. This really could be one of the races of the day. Uh, you have to look at uh, Jessica Harrington's jet ski. 
he won the ride on hurdle very well last time out, beating Champagne Fever. I'm not quite sure if Champagne Fever will turn up here, uh, but if he does, it certainly should be a good match between them again. But Jesse has been impressive. He's won his three races to date over hurdles, and if he does turn up, I think he probably will be good enough to make it four. However, Demer Wells Waheb is certainly a, a big rival here. Mm -hmm. He was a very good one horse two seasons ago, yeah. and he won his first hurdle at Fairy House there last month in very good style, so he could be a very dangerous player. Another one that Desi uses, which I like an awful lot, is a horse called Bright New Dawn. He didn't win a bumper last season, but he was impressive when he won his maiden hurdle at Ferry House a couple of weeks ago, and he could hold his own in this grade one race. But for me, the one that beats Jetski will win. Okay. Moving on then to the Paddy Power Steeplechase. Um, this is a grade B. Um, what caught your eye in this race? Well, with 52 horses still in the race at the moment, Sarah. It's huge, yeah, it's, huge entries. It'd be easier to, to win the lottery than actually get the winner of this race, but it is always a, a tremendously competitive affair and should be a great betting contest. Yeah. I think the horse she went for actually in the uh, Tritown Chase there a couple of weeks ago, like her style, mm -hmm. has an outstanding chance. I'm not quite sure if Tony McKay will come over and ride him, but if okay. he does, that, uh, that hint should be taken. He ran a very good race from second to Tofino Bay on that occasion, yeah. and certainly uh, it should go very well here. Raz de Marie has done well for Desi Hughes in recent times. He won the Cork Grand National and the Munster National so this will be a unique hat-trick if he does it he has gone up in the weights a fair bit but is a very decent horse and should, yeah. go, should go close also Glam Jerry of Colin Murphy's interesting one he landed a big gamble here at Leopardstown last season uh, at this meeting uh, he was run over hurdles of late and certainly should go well here another one I will have to mention is Ted Watch's Calvert Station I thought he ran very well over hurdles last time out and you know he's a bit inexperienced over fences but if he can handle the hurley boardy of 28 runners I think he could be the one that will I would back each way around 10 or 12 to 1 Okay, taking a look then at Limerick, um, this, the meeting is off at 12.35, we're going to take a look at the Tim Duggan Memorial Handicap Chase. A lot of these horses are obviously in the Paddy Power um, at Leopardstown Martin. Well, well yes sir, an, an open handicap chase here, and actually if you look at last year's winner, it actually was Seabass. Uh, trained by Ted Walsh, who of course went on and was toured in the English Grand National under Katie Walsh. Uh, interesting field here. Tullin Town is one to be looking at for Robert Tyner. He hasn't really been in the best of form uh, this season, but he was second in yesterday's chase last term. He's been running over hurdles of late. I think the soft ground will suit him, and he could outrun his odds here. And also one of Noel Mead's called Tuva, an interesting novice. He was quite impressive when he won last time out. He likes soft ground, and off just 10 stone, he certainly makes plenty yeah. of appeal in what should be a very open contest. Okay. We'd like to thank you for watching our racing previews throughout the year and wish you all a very happy Christmas from all of us at Horse Racing Ireland. Yes, some great racing on over the uh, Christmas and New Year period. We hope to see you at the races and, and uh, a happy New Year to everybody as well. Yep, some really competitive racing to look forward to at Leperstown and Limerick. If you'd like any more information on the racing over the Christmas period, visit our website goracing.ie. Thank you. Go Racing. Go online. GoRacing.ie, Horse Racing Ireland's official website.